What's up guys, Grim Tutor, Blightsteel Colossus, and Terror of the Peaks are this month's Patreon rewards. We've also incorporated brand new tiers for those of you who'd like to get your hands on some of our awesome previous proxies very, very quickly. To support our channel and sign up for the tier that best suits you, check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash it resolves. What's going on guys? Welcome to part two of this Boros uh, Luka kind of combo we deck with the end race forerunners very very excited i know this one's coming out a little bit later than part one normally we get them back uh or get, we try and get them out back to back but uh obviously there was the jumpstart update to arena uh and so jumpstart is now viable which we will do i'm sure at some point i think this weekend we'll dedicate some time to it we may even stream it not 100 percent sure but we're gonna do the best we can uh if i get the opportunity i'm gonna take some time to draft this weekend uh or not draft but play some jumpstart and I'd like to do it on stream. Uh, I, I, there's, oh wow, what a actual god awful hand. Nope, not keeping it. Um, so I'd love to be able to stream it. I don't know 100% that we'll be able to, but we're gonna certainly try. Um, this is bad, but we'll keep. Um, just because I, I don't want to go down too far. Uh, unfortunately, but uh, this is terrible. The frame rates are also garbage. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna pretend like this game didn't even happen. The frame rates are terrible. Um, that's t that's a great way to start a video. It's gonna be great. All right, let's jump in <laughs> to our actual game one. If you did not check out part one uh, of this video, please do. Um, we uh, we lost every game. Uh, we did not even get to really do the combo. Uh, we got close in the last game, I will say, but uh, unfortunately they they had counters galore, and so we weren't able to get there. But we're going to try and get there this time. Wow, why do we have such garbage hands? Maybe it's because this deck isn't very good, but that's fine. Uh, we are going to keep this because we can straight kill something here, which is going to be very relevant. Um, we're going to put that on the bottom. We need lands and we need transmogrophies or, you know, something along those lines. Uh, they can cycle away a couple things here. That means we're just going to have to fire prophecy on our turn uh, to get rid of this, uh, this fox here. Uh, which is totally fine with me. I don't really care uh, against this kind of deck. That's just the way you play it. Uh, land is not bad, actually. Uh, but let's go ahead and ditch this. We're going to put a Forerunners back. Get ourselves another land. Um, next turn, we've got either Tabalt or Omen uh, as options here. Um, both of which are actually not terrible, uh, if, if I'm honest. But you know what? Let's, let's Tabalt. Let's do this. I know this gets the least number of things on the field uh, in terms of creatures, but uh, these little one ones are actually really obnoxious against the rescuer in particular because it just means that we get to, if this dies for any reason, we just get to kill this, uh, which is relevant. Um, and if they attack him, we can just block one thing and then ping the other, or, you know, whatever. So this this staves off uh, an attack from the opponent a little bit better than just Omen of the Sunning. Um, both of which are fine, but why 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 would you why would you do this? We're doing this, and we're just gonna ping this. Um, die. They probably will get a one one be left behind here if they've got a cycler. They're probably gonna use it, but that's fine. Um, I hate this deck. I've talked extensively about how much I hate this deck. There are so many reasons to hate this deck. <laughs> um, it's really just so obnoxious. It's such an annoying one. Uh, wow, that's great against Tabalt. Why? Why do we draw these? Um, all right, let's, let's spit this out. No, bad. We don't want that. We really don't want that. We're going to do this. And we're going to flash out Omen at just the right time. We have two of our three Forerunners, one of which we put back on the bottom of our deck. I think we're just getting... I think this deck is either just bad, most likely option, or we're just kind of getting unlucky. Uh, but either way, that's fine. This, de this deck just kind of sucks. <laughs> um, I think that's my advice is this deck sucks. Let's get Omen out. Uh, they've got a lot of stuff with cycling in the graveyard. That I don't like. Um, so we're gonna block here. We can kill that then. And we'll just, we'll just do this. Um, I understand that this isn't like the most amazing thing in the world, but, uh, this does shut down these healers pretty well to have to bolt out. So I'd like to keep it as long as we can. Um, 
And it doesn't help them to cycle anything away there unless they're just trying to fill their yard uh, with Tabalt out. That just keeps them from happening. Um, I am going to put... Oh, okay. I guess I'm not. I was going to put a scry on my upkeep, but I suppose that's not going to work. Um, yes, do it. Play the thing. Uh, if I had known we were going to draw that, we would have not done what we did. Um, let's attack him. We would have just let Tabalt die and kept at least one token. We would have still killed the healer, uh, but we would have left up um, one of the tokens just so we've got max amount of damage possible. Yep, that's fine. Wow, they spent their Zenith Flare to kill a Tabalt. Why? Um, all right. I mean, we attack in. Um, and we're putting a stop on the upkeep. Uh, actually, no, we're not. We're just going to scry in response. That's really stupid. Why would I put it on upkeep? Yeah, you got your Luris. Do it. Do the thing. Whoops. Please. Please give me a good, a good card. No. Bad. <laughs> Why do we have bad cards? All right. Omen of the Sun's not terrible. We probably could have kept that, but okay. Elspeth's better. That's not bad. That's perfectly fine. I'll take this over pretty much anything else at the moment. This just spits out more tokens, and we, with all intents and purposes, we do need more tokens here, just in general. Um, so let's just throw this out. Got a million lands <laughs> and some Forerunners that we will not be able to play. This deck cannot just play the Forerunners. I don't know why that's not a contingency plan in this deck, but hey, we're there. Um, yeah, dude. Wait, what? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Do it. Do the attack. Oh no, we have to reconnect. Oh, it's happening. This is such a good video. This is going so well. Everything is going well. Well, while we're resetting here, uh, just want to mention to everybody, uh, the JDC, the last episode, is going to be, for this season I should say, it's not the last episode ever, but the last episode is going to be uh, next Wednesday. That's the plan. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you would like to submit a deck to it, we have that channel open in our Discord. You're more than welcome to. And we'd absolutely love to uh, see what you've got brewing up. Uh, and so if you're interested, please do uh, share your deck list. We'd really, like I said, really appreciate it. And um, wow, that's so good. Uh, this is such an impossible. We just, we can't do it. Yeah, you got it. Now they have access to all these things. Um, yeah, dude, you got it. Only one per turn, which is just so helpful. Um, we're just dead. Uh, but anyway, uh, we do have uh, Transmography is a good draw. That's like an okay draw, I guess. Dude, we just need life. I'm, I'm taking the life here. Um, let's do that. And let's just throw down a Sarkon. Uh, but yeah, the JDC... Uh, the prompt for this week is going to be artifacts versus enchantments, and I want to see some major jank. I want to see alternate win con jank. Uh, there are alternate win cons for both artifacts and enchantments right now. Please share them, um, because I'm really, really intrigued. Uh, I think this is going to be a fun one. Not going to attack, obviously. If they just like Zenith Flare and have a couple cyclers, they win. So, like, we're not doing great here. Sorry for the issues starting off this video also. My goodness. What a terrible time. All right. Let's see what they do. So they may just not have a Zenith Flare. That would be helpful. Be really helpful. Yeah, dude. You got it. You got it. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Can we please, please just get a Transmography? <laughs> This is terrible. Uh, red, I guess. It doesn't, it's not like it really matters. Um, yeah, escape. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Sure, that's fine. We shouldn't have actually exiled the fire prophecy. That's incorrect. But it really doesn't matter, I don't think. So, uh, yes, this. Um, spit out some more tokens. Just because. Um, this so matters. All right. It is what it is. Let's see what they're going to do. They can just play this and give something uh, trample, by the way, which is like super good considering they've got a 4-4 out. But 
It is what it is. I guess they're not interested. Uh, I assume they've got a cycler and they can just cycle away. Get a counter, get a 1-1, one -one, get a life. Pretty good. Okay. Um, here, here, and here. So this way, even if they do have a cycler, it's fine. Um, and then we just kind of have to hope they brick. And then this gets to kill this. We're kind of on the contingency plan here. I also understand that they can just get these back. So, like, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, do this. Uh, we'll just do this, I guess. Um... Uh, let them block first if they want. That's fine. Castle Embereth. Let's do it. We have a vague hope of just beating them to death. Oh, we just won. I didn't even count. Cool. Hey. Oh, no. I lied. <laughs> they came back to life. Oh, man. Well, we kind of had it, at least. Yeah, dude. Cycle it away. If you just have a Zenith Flare, though, that's really gonna suck. That's why I hate that card, by the way, is because if you just have Zenith Flare, it's like, oh, sure, I, I got you. And they have a high chance of getting Zenith Flare due to the number of cyclers that they have. But that is their only out. Um, but still, like, there's a very high chance that they get there. Yeah, dude. Did you get it? This is your last one. Oh, thank you. We didn't die. We actually may have won a game. I, th I mean, we did win a game. But, like, there's no reason why we should have won this game. Yeah. We did it. We didn't die. We still didn't get to combo, but we didn't die. So, there's a there's a plus. What what was that? Did you guys see that? That, that didn't work very well. All right, let's jump into game two. <laughs> Oh, guys, this deck is silly. It's not very good. It's really not very good. Um, but we're going to do the best we can. Uh, I just want to pull the combo off like once. That's it. <sighs> Why do we have so many of these? Sure, whatever. I just We're just going to get through this deck together. I'm not loving it, but that's fine. We're going to get through this deck together. And then we're going to move on and we're going to enjoy jump start over the weekend and it's going to be a great time. Um, our frame rates are garbage. We've had a reconnection error. <laughs> the first game was really bad. Uh, this is just this just not a good time, but it's fine. It's fine. We're going to stick through it. Uh, we can't give up now. We cannot give up now. Uh, Okay, hey, we got a land. That is a plus. Let's pass. We can end of turn, raise the alarm. Uh, we need to hope for a land or a three drop uh, coming off the top of the deck here. If we got, I mean, we do have potential in this hand to make some stuff happen. If we draw a four runners, I'm, I quit. I quit. It resolves is over. That's it. We've done it. We have failed beyond belief. <laughs> Yeah, dude, you got it. Let's just go ahead and raise the alarm now. Oh, okay. Now, hold on. This is not terrible. I'm going to do this now, though, just because um, I don't want them. I know that it's not going to get a counter right now, but just to, just to make it happen. Let's go ahead and attack in. Sorry for the frame rates, guys. We're going to stick with it because this is the best hope we've, I think, ever had of actually doing this. Okay. What is this again? Uh, draw the card. Uh, wow, that's super good. Okay. Uh, let's do this. We're going to pay two, and we're going to drop Elspeth. Let's get a couple of these little dudes out, and let's attack. The, the hope here is that we just draw a land and we can Luka. They are a very non-interactive deck, which is great. Um, so we do have a hope. <gasps> Guys! Guys, it's happening. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Guys, look. It's happening. We did the thing. We did the thing. All right. Attack. Do it. 
Yeah, you get to eat a 3-3. That's completely fine. Literally couldn't care less. We did it! Guys, we finally did it! <laughs> All right! Uh, I know that was probably garbage to watch because the frame rate, but man, did it actually work! Okay, let's jump into game three. I'm happy now. We're This is game three and no longer matters is the takeaway. If we get it, we great. We're awesome. If we don't get it, it's fine. The deck sucks. Either way, <laughs> either way, this is a fun one. It's fun when it works. That was great. That was exactly what we wanted. Um, I don't know, though. So my thing with a deck like this is like you expect to insta win when you do the combo, which we did there, worth noting. Um, but I don't actually think that this combo, quote unquote, actually just always insta wins. In fact, very often I think it does not. Um, it's very good, so don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying I don't think it's like a, you play this, you automatically win against like a life gain deck. Like, they're probably going to get another turn against you. Despite that really sucking, that's probably just the way it is. Um, just play this out and we'll pass. We'll see what they do. Probably just Simic Ramp. Oh, interesting. Uh, let's do this. This isn't very exciting, but we get to put this back and we just kind of clear away a little bit here. <clears throat> um, another Elspeth is not great. We were kind of hoping for a Transmography or something along those lines. But, oh, look, it was on the top of our deck. Dude, seriously, we just draw another Forerunners? <laughs> um... We'll pass and we'll flash out him and we're gonna try and play it correctly, but it just doesn't, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't. There's our second transmography. We are down to four potential win conditions. Let's just do this now. Frame rate is garbage again. Looks like we're just having a lot of network errors right now, guys. So I apologize. Um, hopefully it's not too terrible to watch, but we, we, we plow through. We're gonna try. We are going to try. Alright, uh, you, you, do this, <coughs> and attack, alright, um, like, if we draw a Luka, oh, okay, well, just kidding, I lied, we're gonna die, 100%, <coughs> well, there goes third transmography, uh, you, I guess, you, because why not? And we'll throw you out. Alright. This is terrible. We're going to lose 100%. And it's not even going to be... This is going to be the incremental mill. Which is so annoying. <laughs> yeah, dude. Here we go. We've lost. This is the turn one soul ring deck. This is what this is. I'm conceding, because we're not even going to go through this. Guys. That was awful. This deck sucks. In summary, don't play it uh, unless you already have all the cards, in which case try it, but it's not going to work very often. <laughs> I don't know if this was just unlucky on our part <clears throat> or if the build was terrible. We didn't build this, worth noting. We pulled this, so this was a net deck, quote unquote. Um, but like that was bad. That was real bad. I didn't like that at all. The idea behind it, sweet, but we need a better way to do it. <clears throat> um, I would suggest trying this idea, but doing it in a better way. Um, like, why not, like, out... What What about a control matchup where Outlaw's Merriment is the thing? Like, that would be kind of fun. I don't know. Play with this. Play with this idea. See if you can come up with something. Send it to us. We will replay the deck if you've got something for us. So send it over. Uh, use Discord. That's the best place to do it. Or just comment it down below if you really don't want to join the Discord. I don't know why you wouldn't. That's kind of weird um, because the Discord's awesome. Uh, and I'm sure if anybody in the Discord is watching up until this point, comment down below and tell us how awesome it is. That's all I ask. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. I will see you very, very soon in the next gameplay video.